arrived at the Redondo Beach Pier. There's supposed to be a car show around here somewhere. According to Wes, I'm gonna find it. This is cool, but Wes is cooler. <laughs> Aren't you, Wes? I don't know about that one, but I think this is cooler than me. For you. I have news for you. We're already doing this. No, but you it's can't. Already it's already rolling. It's already rolling. Tell no. me, give me your name. Give me your name. Don. Don. How do you spell I Don? I miss that bastard. A W N. It's orange, it's fat, it's... It's, it's um, isky orange. Absolutely, yeah, it, it is. It is. Did you see the isky sticker? It really is isky It's a completely orange. ludicrous car in yes. this show, but it fits perfectly. Yes. Why Fat Bastard? Because all of my other cars are 60s muscle cars, and he's a big, fat, round, bulbous baby and the bastard and child. What year is this car? 1953 210. Chevy 210. Who built this? This is a family car. Everyone built this car. And, and it's orange because of Isky. It is Isky orange, and it was orange because that was what was available. And you know, you cocktail it's, this it, and that, and yeah. you get something that's cool yeah. and what works. And after a few beers or a few glasses of wine, it's kind of happened. Oh, well, after a few beers, I did actually tape flame it once before it got painted, but yeah. <laughs> Have you been to the Redondo Beach Pier before? Nope. First time. First time? But you're from more up north. No, I'm from Santa Monica, West LA. Like I said, you're from Santa Monica. You've never been on this pier? No, I haven't. Is it cool? I love it. It's beautiful. Malibu and PV kind of face each other, so we can kind of wave. That's right. Exchange cars from time absolutely, to time. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Jim has a, a very beautiful 63. 1963 Thunderbird. It's really sad. That's cool. But That's cool. so why why this car? Why is this in your collection? I tell you, I didn't even like Thunderbirds. I saw this online out of uh, a dealer in Ohio, 
and it just would not go out of my head. It was like a piece of art. Three and a half weeks, and I was at my sister and brother-in-law's house in Michigan. And my brother-in-law finally said to me, you know, you keep saying it isn't what you want, but you don't need it. And I said, yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. So no, it's your age. I just want what it. you want. And he says, well, just buy the damn thing and leave me alone. You know, some people buy these cars, and uh, they stick them in the garage, or they put them somewhere, and they can admire them. But this guy is a driver. Every time I go down to PV, he whisks past me in this thing. So after a big meal, it makes it much easier to get in and out of the car. So, you know, the new modern cars, they go down and up and the way back. 63, it was, okay, we'll have a swing away steering wheel. This is Tim, and he has had, uh, you've had this car for a long time. The original, uh, 50 years I've had this car. You've had this car for 50 years. What is the car? It's a 1967 Chevelle Super Sport. Okay, and, but the interesting thing, I was just told by someone off camera that you used to work for Ford. I worked for Ford back in the 60s. And I bought this car in the 60s, and Ford would not let me bring this car to work, so I had a Mustang. So I had to drive the Mustang. So you've had this car ever since then. Why, why have you kept it? What, what's the well, I had a car that I over in storage for 35 years. I only had 17,000 miles on the car. And I parked it in my parents' back shed. You forgot that it was there? Yeah, it was there. Wow. <laughs> something to eat. The car show is pretty spectacular. A lot of turquoise, a lot of blues, perfect against the ocean. Spectacular. A great venue for a car show. There's only about a hundred cars here, maybe less. You can call me stupid yes, You can call me sheep You can say I lay a You can say I weep You think that using her would get to me And if you're right then you're in trouble D Cause I won't break my no, I know I won't wait You're in trouble Done with the Redondo Beach Pier car show. Some amazing rides. Really great location. Very cool. Heading back to Malibu today. It's supposed to be about 90 degrees in town. So far, doesn't feel that bad. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me? And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I will break my honor, why won't we? Not sure. No, pretty sure I'm gonna need a haircut. Starting to look a little Willy Wonka going on. Okay, I want you guys to get this because this is really important, supremely important. You know, you go to a, a car show like I did today and it's very hard to, to walk around that car show and not be overwhelmed with the amazing things, the incredible things that people have done with their cars. Now, the only way that they have achieved that is small steps every single day. And this is really important because sometimes you don't realize what it takes to do something, how, how it 
uh, evolves, how things grow. And it's important because when you know how things grow and you understand that it's an equation and you do the equation appropriately, then you can't fail. There's no way to fail. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, imagine you are at a, a pond and you take a rock and you throw the rock and it lands in the pond. And it makes, it lands like right there. See that little dot? That's you, this little dot. The only way to make this bigger and to expand is to focus on that. Because if you, if you think about other things and do other stuff, then you take your attention away from this. And the only way to make that bigger is to focus on that. Look, how do you get that to grow bigger? Well, when you throw a rock into the water, it creates energy. And the energy expands outwards and it gets bigger and bigger. And it dissipates over a period of time, but it can go a long way. Same in case in point, uh, a big storm out in the ocean and it swirls up the, the water and it does the stuff and it sends waves out all the way to Hawaii or to Australia and things like that. It's energy. Energy is important. What you put your energy into, what you focus your energy into is what's going to grow and expand. And these are how these guys have built these cars. These are how I've done cars. This is how anybody creates something from nothing. The way, the way to make things grow larger, larger, larger like this is to stay focused. Stay focused on what it is you're trying to achieve and don't let things distract you. These guys have built their cars and I've built my cars based on the fact that we knew exactly what the outcome was, what we wanted to focus on, and we stayed on point until we got exactly what we wanted. And I'm sure you can look back in your life and you can see how that's how you've achieved things too. So don't be overwhelmed when you see some of these things and how are you gonna do this and how are you gonna do that. Just figure out exactly what it is that you want and stay focused on it. Don't switch gears, don't go from here over to here and over to here and over to there. Stay focused on the coolness and only coolness can come. And that is Log 447.